my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Okay, guys. It's here. What do you think's in the box? Something I've been wanting for a long time and really don't know a lot about. And I know Greg from Rug K Mods, and I probably know uh, Steve from Mac84, he probably knows too. Uh, but this is a Pyromac G4 Cube. And I got this off of an eBay seller. Got a really good price on it. And so anyway, uh, it arrived today. And uh, so we're gonna do an unboxing. I've never done an unboxing before. So, um, I know uh, some people, I told them that I'd do an unboxing just for them. I'm not going to say any names. But uh, anyway, so yeah, so we're going to open this guy up here. And uh, the box, I, you know, I was really expecting it to be in a much larger box. But, um, hey, you know, I mean, it's heavy. It weighs uh, like 14 plus pounds. So the box looks in good shape. Uh, so, and, and nothing's rattling in it. So I hope that it arrived in one piece. So we're gonna find out. So let's uh, find out together here. And uh, get them boxed here. Let's grab something real quick here. Okay. And um, so, yeah, so we got this here. And get this up here. Note from the eBay sailor it says uh, thanks and uh, yeah but uh, yeah I got a really good deal on it and of course uh, everybody's favorite thing is packing peanuts but it is bubble wrapped and I do see it in here and I don't care if I make a mess I got the door closed uh, so the kitties can't get in here and make a mess but um, anyway this does have the power supply with it and he said that there may or may not be an issue with it powering up. He said the, the proximity button is kind of dodgy on it a little bit. So anyway, here's the, here's the power supply. Very heavy. And the uh, cord's kind of yellowed a little bit, but uh, we might be able to doctor that up a little bit. And uh, so I'm going to get that wrapped here. And we'll clean it all up for when we're done. And so, yeah, so there's the there's the power supply. It's got Apple on it there. Um, yeah, it looks it looks good. So not cracked or anything. So we'll set that right over here for the time being. And uh, yeah, you can see I got my uh, G3 going here. I got my 2013. 27 inch iMac and I got my Mac Pro 5,1 2010 running here and uh, wake it up here and it was like it fell asleep on me here and uh, come on wake up well maybe I didn't turn my keyboard on anyway, it'll wake up here in a minute so anyway so I have that going all right so let's get back to the business at hand here Pick it all up before the kitties come in here because they'll have it all over the house. So, yeah, so, wow. Ooh. And hopefully uh, it's not all busted up there. Yeah. All the stuff. We shall see. It does look like it was packed fairly decent, so that's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit this right there just for the moment here. And let's see if there's anything else in here. Looks like there's something else in here too. There's 
it down so they fall on the ground. That would be good. There's a little Power Mac G4 cube. Quick guide there. Here's the other part of the power supply, the cord. Let's see if there's anything else in here. And I always save all the packaging because I, I sell a lot of stuff on eBay, so it all comes in handy. Plus I can always get a ton of bubble wrap from work. Working in a doctor's office, we get all kinds of stuff all the time. And so anyway, let me uh, get this picked up here. And let's do this over here. Okay, all right. So now, we will open this guy up here. Let's make sure that we are in frame because I am bad about that. Uh, sometimes I think I'm in frame and I'm not. So, uh, okay, yeah, let's drop this down a little bit there. There we go. So, might not see my big face in here, but this is the main thing anyway. So, let's see here. Well, we're going to get the old pocket knife here. That wraps here. Tape very good. Like I said, guys, this is really the first unboxing I've done on camera. I did kind of a semi one on uh, when I got the G4 board back from DOS Dude, um, but I just showed the box. I didn't actually take the time to unwrap it here. And, uh, and this has a acrylic case on it. And um, you know, I'm going to do a tutorial about plastics, of what you should and should not clean plastics with, okay? Especially acrylic. Um, there are lots of ways of polishing acrylic, which I'm going to do a tutorial on that. I'm just, there's tape on it here a little bit, but I'm just looking here. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, the case looks beautiful on this guy. I mean, this is just tape marks on here. I'll get that off. But yeah, we got a couple of little scratches there, but nothing major. Uh, and the cosmetics look pretty. I don't see any cracks on it yet, anyway. Let's see. Um, yeah, it looks good. So anyway, yeah, like I said, this is complete. He showed a picture of it booted up. And there's the audio ports on it there. So yeah. Um, Okay, so let me uh, get this stuff off the table here. And we will actually boot this up live. Because I have not, you know, ever had one of these guys before. But I just want to pull this out. So I do have an air. So what we're going to do also, uh, we're going to do a lot of upgrades on this thing too. So I have an airport card I can slick in it. Um, and uh, man, this thing looks really good. And I've also got, I'm gonna upgrade the memory in it. I've already got it actually, 1.5 gig of memory. Um, I'll tell you some of the things I'm gonna be doing to it. I've got a, I've got a SSD ordered for it. Also the IDE to SATA connector for it. I've got a new motherboard. This is a 450 megahertz. We're going to be putting a 550 megahertz in it. I also got a new graphics card for it. Uh, it's going. It's the. Um, I think it's the uh, ATI Nvidia 7500. But it's got 32 meg, but it will plug into it, so I don't have to do any modifications on the VM board. And um, what else? Oh. And we're going to put a fan in it too, which I've got that on order too. 
and I will make a video when we do all these upgrades on it, okay? But what we're going to do, I'm just seeing the nut and rattly in there. And Greg from Hurricane, Hurricane Mod said that um, that the frame brackets are in here, and literally you just put the screws in it and you're off and running. So I will do that too. And, and I'm also going to, on my G3 over there, um, I did a video on putting a fan in it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put a little bit bigger fan. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can get an 80 millimeter fan in it, exactly located the same spot, uh, but it's 10 millimeter thick, so or 15 millimeter thick. I'm sorry. And so anyway, uh, it, it, I should have enough room to do it. I just, you know, you can never have too much airflow, especially in these older machines. But yeah, so yeah, this is this is a beautiful. I mean, this thing looks is really clean. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put this back together. Uh, we'll hook, I'll use the keyboard for my G3 iMac and we're going to see if we can get this guy to boot up. Okay, so be back in a, be back in a few here, okay? Okay guys, so um, so I know that, uh, and I didn't realize this also, uh, I was watching one of Greg's uh, videos um, on this and I didn't realize these don't have their own audio board in them, so what he, and I thank you, uh, Greg, for giving me a heads up on this. Um, this is a, a Saba, it's a USB stereo sound adapter plug, and a PC or Mac. And anyway, so um, that plugs into the USB slot, and then you have microphone and audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that in, plug this plug, and I have a um, Bluetooth speaker here, but we can plug it directly in here, because I used to do that for my TV. And anyway, so hopefully we'll get sound out on it. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, so this is a uh, pretty cool little, little device here. And it was only like, I think I paid like five or six bucks for it. And that was including the shipping. Neat little gadget though. And just if you want to add a stereo, a second stereo uh, channel on your thing, you could do it, you know, if you have like another port, you need to do it. So I said, we'll just, we'll just uh, plug this in. This is USB 2 also, so it's not too slow. So that's going to go in the speaker. All right, so that's on there. So we should have, in theory, audio out. I'll turn this on. Power on. Power on. There we go. I've got the uh, power supply down here, so I'm going to, I just have to hook up a uh, video cable to it here. Um, I'm running D port on, on my Mac Pro. I do have another monitor up here. I'll probably just use this monitor here. This is VGA. So we'll do that. Bring it this down here before I drop my Mac MacBook there. So let's see here. So, um, ugh, this thing's no gateway monitor. I think it still works. We'll find out. So let's see here. Let me uh, plug the USB port in it here. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see. I'm just trying to get this all set up here so we can power this thing up. I think I'm probably going to have it all set up over there on that shelf. Um, we shall see. I don't have, uh, this also does uh, ADC video too, but here, I don't have one of those ADC to HDMI or uh, HDMI uh, D video. Oh, you know what I mean. So anyway, I'm going to just plug this in. It doesn't fall out of there. Okay. That's a really stiff, stiff cord too. So I'll have to get a different one here too. I don't want it to screw anything up. So anyway, I'm just trying to think here. I'm going to set it here. Um, and I'll get the power cord for this monitor here. What do I do with it? There. 
plug this monitor in. Okay, it's heavy. Okay, so that's plugged in. And I'm gonna plug this video cable in it. I'm gonna get this over here so I can Yeah, I'm excited, man. I've, I've, I've always been intrigued by these cubes. And I guess the biggest issue with these is the lack of expandability. But, you know, um, with today's technology, we can do a lot more of these things than we could probably when the day it was made. So, but uh, we're going to have fun with it, though. Because, like I said, my SSD, I'm going to put... 9.2.2 on it, Tiger and Leopard, just like I have on the G3 over there, although I can't run Leopard on that because uh, DOS Dude still has that uh, G3 board that he upgraded to G4, and there were some issues with it, so I sent it back to him, and I just chatted with him on Discord last week, and he's you know been really busy at school, and he hasn't had time to look at it, so to investigate it much, so, but anyway, he's he said, you know, he gets, he gets time, because I know he's a terribly busy individual. And uh, so I'm going to try to... I'm going to have a power cord issue here. Let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, I have to unplug something else here. Okay. Let's see, that's not going to... Uh, it's going to reach. Oh, it might. A UL laboratory would have a heart attack if they saw my wiring, and I have no excuse because I'm an electronic technician by trade, and uh, I do work on these things, but not quite to the level that some of you guys do. But anyway, uh, I, I believe it or not, I am very anal about cable management, and that's why I like wireless. But uh, like I said, I'll get this all wired up because if you look behind my desk, you see it's very meticulously laid out behind there. But you can't tell it right now. I'm just trying to get this thing powered up here. So let me see here. Let me get like zero clearance here on this thing. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the power into this guy here. See broken pins in there, that's always good. That's a proprietary plug. Come on. Is it in there? Where's the key at here? Oh yeah, it goes like that, okay. Alright. Hey. I saw the power light come on brief. The power light is on, so it is getting power. Okay. Alright. Hang on here. Okay. Okay, so we're trying to... Okay. Alright. Let's see. I'll, let me see if we're in frame here. So I can get this all set up here. Alright, good. So the monitor's there. Okay, good. Alright, good. So we're going to... Face it to you guys here, and like I said, this is just just to see if we get sound out on this thing and and make sure she powers up. So let me turn the monitor on here. And uh, this on? Yeah, there. Now it's on. Okay, there we go. Now it's on. Okay power saving mode. So let's see here. Let's get this thing to let's see here. Come on, what's going on here? Why is this thing uh let me adjust it here. Well, let's hope it's on the right uh, input here. Uh, we shall see. All right, let's see if this thing lights up here. Okay, we are 
not. We are, we are plugged in. Plugged in. That's plugged in. Now we're getting power. He said that he said that the uh, proximity switch is kind of dodgy on it, so we might have to hotwire it here to get her to boot up here. lights on it in there. Let's see here. Yeah, it's, it's lit up. Okay, all right, so. Well, we are not powering up here. So, um, give me a minute and we're gonna do something here. So I did get it to boot up. I slid the cover off of it and I touched it and it's uh, it's booting up here. So anyway, so we're booting up here. We'll be able to let the system specs here. I guess I should plug a keyboard into it so it'll work better. Let's see what we got here. Keyboard power now. Yeah, okay, good. All right. And the hard drive is booting up there. I don't even know if the optical drive works on this. I'll stick something in there. And I'm not expecting it to. Mac Cube. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Hmm. See it's it's booting up there. Okay. I'm gonna try to get you guys a little closer here. Okay. So let's get you a little closer here. That reflection's just from the, the light there. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to there we go, that's better, right there. Uh, and hard drive's relatively quiet. Uh, I have no idea if there's a password on this thing. Got lucky, I just hit the inner button, so that's good. And the uh, mouse works, sweet. Looks like it does have Tiger on it. Yeah, we know. We're going to put a new PRAM battery in it too. Okay, all right. So, all right, let's take a look here. Let's see what kind of system specs we have on this thing here. So let's see about this Mac. Okay, so it is uh, version 10.4.9 uh, it's Tiger on it it's not the latest on the Tiger we'll have to update that it's got a 450 megahertz processor and it's got 128 megabyte of RAM but we're gonna put that to 1.5 gig and uh, let's uh, go here to uh, more info here try to a little closer there there we go all right and so yeah let's see uh see how big this drive is on it it's a mash mashishita it's got a dvr rom in it dvd rom actually and it's got a let's see uh 19.11 so it's basically it's got a 20 gigabyte hard drive on it wdc and uh yeah man i am so happy well, actually what available oh it says hard drive 18.98 so yeah it's basically it's a 20 gig drive so yeah um and i know it doesn't have any airport on it because there's no airport card yeah, but we're going to remedy that and then let's see graphics it's got the 128 Rage Pro, which that's pretty much came in on stock, but they did offer two upgraded different boards. Um, and then, uh, like I said, we're going to put the upgraded uh, video board in it. That way we can run uh, Leopard no problem. 
so yeah so uh and let's see here and you can see the that slot's empty you just have the dims in it and then audio it says no built-in audio no bluetooth and uh, let's see what else we got here so what kind of applications we got on here probably just the basic tiger stuff so let's see airport audio grab so yeah so uh yeah so let's uh, you know let's see if while i got got you guys here let's see if it will take a uh, cd uh disc here all right i'm just gonna put it in just to see if it'll suck it in and eject it here uh let's see here uh, let me find one here let's see here Oh, well, that's Tiger right there. Yeah, 10.4. Let's see how that will work. Let's see if it'll read it. Because while I got it apart, I'll be able to take it, get it out there easy if it uh, doesn't work. So let's see here. Well, it pulled it in reluctantly. Let's see if it reads it. It's, okay, it's spinning up. And it's reading it. And, and it did eject it because this is a uh, this is a DVD R, but um, hmm. I don't know why it didn't want to read it. Let's try it again here. Oh. Went in a lot faster that time. Move this over here. Let's see there. trying to read it. I don't know. I might try a different disc here. Because um, it gets to the point where it's, it's reading it. Yeah. It's not liking it. So, that's all right. Let's try another disc out here. Let's see. it will read an OS 9 disk. This is just on a CD. Let's see if it will read this here. Actually, you know what? Okay, let's do this here. Let's do, um, here, I'll put an actual Apple OS 9 disk in it here. I'll put that guy in there. Right there. We'll just just curious to see if it'll load, read the disk here if it'll load it up. We shall see. We will definitely have to give that a tune up too. Let's see if it reads that. It's like in that one either. Yep. Okay. Doesn't like that. So there's probably something wrong with the CD drive in it. Um, but that's fine. We can we can fix that. I'm not worried about that. Um, is like I said. I'm going to um, on the the um, SSD. I'm going to uh, do a. a clone of that one put on that one and that way uh, I'll have everything on it it's the easy way to do it and that's a clean image so it shouldn't be an issue 
And then, um, I was really hoping, but I have all kinds of optical drives, so I'm not worried about it, but I'm just happy that it boots up. And uh, yeah, so I'll tell you what we're gonna do is, uh, since I have it, let's go ahead and stick the RAM in it, okay? And then that way we can see, uh, it's, it's supposed to be uh, recognizable. It's all the same modules. The, these are, the two it's in are different modules. You can, you can see here, the two of these are, are different modules in there. That's a different one, that's a different one. So we're gonna put the new ones in here. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay guys, so I uh, I unplugged the power cable from it, and boy, that proximity switch, boy, you get anywhere near it, it just it goes off and on by itself, so they're very touchy without that cover on it. So anyway, um, we're going to uh, change the, uh, the RAM here, and there's three slots, so I'm just gonna replace put RAM in all these here and so we're going to pull that one out and then we're going to take this one out and that one's out and then these are my new RAM modules here there's three so this give, give us 1.5 gigabytes of RAM so let me um, open these up here Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera, guys. And uh, let's see here. All right, let me get my uh, knife here so I can open these up here. I don't want to use a pair of scissors, but uh, they're downstairs and I'm upstairs, so we're just going to do it this way here. So, all right. And I have lots of. Um, any static bag, so I'll put those other RAM modules. I have all, all kinds of RAM, so. So here's, so here's a new stick here. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure what brand this is. Um, I know it's, it's guaranteed for life. Um, so I'll have to look on the, the thing, what it was. But anyway, so we're going to put, uh, we'll put this one in furthest here, probably the easy, easiest here. Okay, let me just make sure that it's in there. Okay. And I know we'll be probably taking these back out because of the motherboard and stuff, so, but um, that's okay. Just want to get it souped up a little bit what we got. And uh, we'll get this next one out here. So we'll put number two in. Okay, so that is firmly in there. there we go. One, more, one more to go here. Is in there like that. And I believe that is in there all the way. Okay. All right. So now. Let me um, plug the power power cable back into this thing here, and we should have 1.5 gigabyte if it sees everything correctly. We'll find out here in a, in a minute here, and uh, now I'm sorry I keep bumping the camera with my big arms here. kind of funny now see it doesn't that switch is very dodgy on this thing I'm gonna have to work on that too no biggie 
Let me unplug it and I'll plug it back in here. Well, I've got to go on the other side here. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, right there. There we go. There we go. And so I will move the camera over here. Get this up here. A little closer there. There we go. All right. So just letting her boot up here. I'll probably do a when I get all the upgrades, so I'll do a PRAM ups reset on it too. Just and uh, that might cure the the switch a little bit too. So it's booting up, and uh, like I said, uh, when I get all the rest of the parts, then we'll do uh, another video of upgrading and. Uh, That's the button I meant to hit. Okay, so let's see here. So it seems like it kind of loads up a little faster once you hit the password in there. So let's uh, go about this Mac here and let's uh, make sure that it does see the uh, RAM here. I'm gonna move this a little bit because I'm getting a little bit of the, from the light there. There we go, all right. So let's take a look here. Look at there, guys. 1.5 gigabyte of SD RAM. Nice. And uh, yeah, look at that. Memory. Sees all three slots there. 512, the PC 133 slash 333. The DIMMs, each one. Nice. Okay, good. All right. So, all right guys, so basically where we're at now is um, I'm going to make a spot on it and I'll, I think I'm going to just use this monitor because it, it runs it real nice and natively. Um, I might try it on a widescreen just to see how it looks. But anyway, so, um, so what's going to happen is I'm just waiting for all the other stuff that I've ordered. Like I said, a, a new SSD, the uh, IDE to SATA connector, an upgraded motherboard it's going to be a 550 megahertz uh, just plug it in it'll, it's, it'll fit right in it upgraded video card um, and we've already done the RAM I'm using the um, connector here for the uh, for that uh, audio but uh, it doesn't seem to be working so I ought to find out why it's not working I ought to go and try to play some music or something and find out why it's not working but anyway, um, and then, yeah, uh, let's see, what else? There was something, oh yeah, we're gonna be putting a fan in it too. So that'll be fun. And I'm just gonna use a 12 volt, I'm, I'm gonna have to check the, the fan header to see it's, it, if it's five or 12 volt, it's probably 12 volt. And, um, and, uh, and I have both a five and 12 volt fan ordered for it. So either one, and I'm just gonna uh, run it off the actual fan header and I'm going with a 15 millimeter thickness and fan, but it's an 80 by 80 millimeter. Uh, Greg said you can get a 25 millimeter, but you have to kind of bow the brackets out a little bit, but he said it will fit, but I'm just gonna do the 15, so that way it just slides in there. I'll put a couple screws in it and we're good to go. Uh, Cause I can tell you these things do generate quite a bit of heat already here. Um, not too, uh, well, I take that back, not too bad right now, but I'm sure they do after a while. But anyway, uh, yeah. So just want to remind you guys that uh, the giveaway is still going on. We are currently at 35 subscribers as of the time of this video. This is uh, Sunday, uh, uh, was it uh, February 25th? And uh, so when we get 50, then we'll I'll do a video 
of uh, how to um, I'm going to change it just a little bit um, you're just going to I'll give you a week to everybody enter their comments if you've already commented on that video you're good um, and then uh, then we will actually do a live uh, uh, drawing online we'll do a live uh, live cast on it and uh, and we'll have this uh, G4 running in the background too so yeah guys so um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, and like I said, um, I really appreciate all you guys supporting me. Um, it's it's been uh, I I just cannot thank you guys enough. Um, and uh, as I follow everything here, but yeah. So anyway, yeah. So I like I said, I really appreciate everything you guys have been doing. Um, I, I love all the comments, um, and again, uh, I, I'll, <laughs> I can't remember all the new subscribers, but I just, if I don't, I, I try to respond to you, message you back, but if uh, you haven't, I do apologize for that, but I do appreciate all the subscriptions, and like I said, as soon as we get to 50, then we're going to do the uh, live microphone giveaway, uh, there'll be a week prior to that. Uh, I'll put a video out on it on just to kind of remind everybody to comment on it. But uh, yeah, um, so yeah, so I'm glad that this thing does run. Um, like I said, we have to work on that switch a little bit there. Um, it it does go to sleep. It does it does it does sleep. So that part's working pretty good, and uh, you, you can hear the speaker there. So anyway, yeah, guys. So um, this is Dave from Dave Vintage Apple Tech, and again, I want to thank. Greg, um, for I, I watched your video on this machine and, and I learned a lot on that. I mean, I've been using Macs for a long time, but I have never ever had one of these guys. And uh, I, this thing is just a sweet little jewel. And uh, yeah, so I don't mean to keep uh, re being repetitive here, but um, anyway, um, this is my first unboxing. I'm glad it didn't come in damaged. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So. I'll see you guys uh, in the next video as soon as we hit 50 subs. But like I said, as soon as I get all the parts for this, then I'll do another video on the upgrade. Okay? All right, guys. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.